For the past two months, Jo has been fighting to save her relationship with her boyfriend, William. You see, after William received a suspicious voicemail on his phone, he became convinced that Jo is sneaking men into their house and drugging him so she can cheat. How long have you been with Jo? Probably two years. Yeah, she seems like a nice lady. She is. Is she nice? She is. Yeah. She, she's decent. But you think she's cheating on you? Yes, sir. Why would yes, she sir. cheat on you? Because she think I'm cheating. Oh, she thinks you're cheating. Yeah, she thinks I'm cheating. And uh, my wife, she said that you wouldn't take a lie detector test. Right. Because right. it's not about you. It's not about me. No, no. Yeah. no. Like, I yeah. told her, like... Um, and why would you take one? Right. It, she, I haven't given no, given her no, you know, explanation, you know, no reason for her to yeah. even think that I'm cheating. But so. she's drugging you and having sex with men in your house while you're like this. I believe so. Yes, you sir. believe so? <laughs> yes, sir. I believe so. Wow. And then she says that you booby trap, booby trap the house. I wouldn't call it booby trap. But what would you call it? Being um, protective of my <laughs> house. You're not torturing her. I don't think so. I don't think it's torture. It's, it's, it's for me to try to find out what's really going on. And did you the catch anything? That I do. Did you find any evidence? Well, when I set my phone on record, I did. What'd you hear? I heard my bed moving. You heard your bed move? Mm hmm How'd it sound? It was banging. Bang. Banging against the wall. Was it hitting it like hard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like trying to hurry up and get it in yeah. before I came home. Yeah. Yeah. You're not cheating at all? No. Would you take a test? No. You won't take one. There's no point. There's no, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, there's no point. point. There's no point. Yeah, there's, there's no point. point. If I gave her a reason. What if she passes? What if she passes her lie detector test? Is it going to end all the craziness, sabotaging, you know, putting cans in front of doors? That shit help. It'll help. It'll help. It'll help. It'll help. It'll help. All right, let's, uh, let's meet your significant other, Joe. Let's bring her out. This ends today. I am tired of this. This is a daily occurrence. You're believing everybody else in my neighborhood. I know I'm the only one out there. I don't know any of my neighbors, and yet you'll believe them. I'm tired of you checking my underwear to make sure I've got the same ones on that I had when you left. I'm tired of you hiding my car around the corner so that you can sneak home and go through the house. I'm tired of all of this. I love you more than anything else in the world and I would never cheat on you, but what is it gonna take for you to believe me? You're either gonna believe me or you need to go. What, uh, what do you love about her? I love everything about her, Steve. Well, well talk me. She's a, she, she's a, I love her spirit. I love, you know what I mean, the fact that she's, she's a down-to-earth person. She's, she's, she's just a lovable person all she's the way around. Attractive? Yeah. 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 And what do you love about him? Oh, my God, he's my best friend. You know, I've never been more comfortable with anyone in my life. And everything was great until that voicemail on January 5th. And what, what, tell me about that. I called, he didn't answer, I hung up the phone. My phone didn't hit the cradle right, so the mouthpiece was off. So I'm going about, my boss comes by and talks to me over my cube wall, and he asked me about some project I was working on, and I just kind of groaned. It's like, oh, please don't ask me about that. All he heard was the groan. And so, you know, and he played it for me. I know I'm a little bit older. And I know my hearing's not as good. But, you know, he's saying he's hearing grunts you're and not groans. You're not, you're not that old. Thank you. You're the same age as me, so okay. come on. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's what he's hearing. And, you know, he's right. playing it over and, and over. And how long have you guys been together? About two years. Two years. And, and for the most part, it's been good. It's, for the most part, it's been great. So. And, when, 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 and when was that voicemail that changed? January everything? 5th. Of this year? Of this year. So it's been a few months. And are you tortured? Oh, my God, yes. Daily, and you know, I keep thinking, okay, rise above it, let it go. If he wants, if he wants to check upstairs and downstairs, that's fine. You know, I can sit there and wait, and for him to oh. come up and say it's clear. Do you, do you, do you drug him? Do I drug him? Yeah, like no. you, do you put no. drugs so he passes out so that you can sneak men into the house and have sex with them? No. And you, not only would you have to drug them, 
you'd have to take all the uh, booby traps down, and he won't take a lie detector test. Does that concern you? It, it concerns me, but um, not, not that I don't have reason to doubt. Right. But, you know, I know where he is. Yeah. So and I know he has a lot of female friends, and it's not that well, he's hanging out. Oh, there you go. He's going up in flames, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on, he's a good looking man, Steve. Look at he that smile. He is a good looking man. But it, does it concern me? Yes, but you know, in my heart. But you don't, I don't cheat, think he's Joe. Cheating. No. No. Please say no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> See, when somebody <laughs> says that, <laughs> and you know, I have to read it the way it, it is. Joe came here and took a lie detector test. Yeah. And we asked her, on January 5th, 2015, were you engaging in any sexual activity when the voicemail was made? She answered no. She told the truth. <laughs> Since May of 2014, has anyone entered your townhouse without William's knowledge? She answered no. She told the truth. In the past 18 months, have you ever had sexual contact with any person besides William? She answered no. She told the truth. In the past 18 months, have you had sexual intercourse with any other person besides William? She said no. She told the truth. <laughs> have you ever drugged any of William's food or drink? She said no, and she did not tell the truth. <gasps> Steve, seriously. I know. <clears throat> Told me what I actually knew. You knew it. I knew it. You knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You have drugged him at some point. I have not drugged him. And you, what you, have you done? I, I fix his food. I know oh, that. Okay. And I've stopped because he thinks I'm drugging him. Okay. But at one point you did put, you did drug him. No. You're here because he believed that. I, I'm here because he believed I was cheating. The drugging came up after we got here. And you failed for it. Okay. Okay. You find what is in the house that I have no drugs that will cause you to be so my, drowsy. My question is, the re what's the reason why she's drugging me? Well, she ain't cheating on you. She passed that. Mm -hmm. It's just so you go to sleep so I can get <laughs> on. I think this is only the second time in the history of the show that somebody's admitted that they lied. I didn't, okay. Do you want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco Show? Visit the link in the description to get my help. Apparently somewhere I think I might have drugged him, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, which um, I don't, I, and I don't want to downplay it because if you did that, it, it could be potentially dangerous. I, oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, 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 I like, and, and I like the fact that, you know, she's, she's not engaged in any sexual activity. She's not sneaking guys into the house. Uh, she hasn't had intercourse with anybody. Um, she did drug you. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if there's a good reason for that. There is no good reason it's because she, 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 she could injure you or, you know, cause. That's a criminal offense. It yeah. is. Do you still love her? I do. You do? I do. Do you want to stay with her? After her drugging me? That's deceitfulness. It is. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it it's, is. It's, it's deceitful. It is. Defe yeah. Deceitfulness. Yeah. I don't know, Steve. I don't know. Could I have you, no problems. Out. Could, no. <laughs> okay. Get your stuff. Get out. If you're that, okay, you failed for drugging, and now you just said, hey, I got no problems, he's gone. Then, I, there is, then there's, there's something missing in the relationship. 
There is, but my, the point is, okay, I passed the not cheating. I did not pass the drugging. I don't believe I've ever drugged him. If he somebody charged me. you, how mad would you be? If it let me sleep? No. Um, no. If would, somebody would, charged you without would, your consent, how would you feel? First of all, I would be upset. Right. Second of all, I would go and get tested immediately. Take whatever food you think I've drugged and take it somewhere to have it tested. Okay. And you won't do that. You'll I just sit sure. there and I tell me sure. I'm drugging now, you. I'm sure. You're sure so I'm now. Going, so I'm going to the authorities when we've been. So she did drug you. That's kind of a dangerous thing. It is, it and, is. And, and maybe you should be with somebody that doesn't drug you. Right. Um, even though she's being faithful and everything else, um, there's a reason why somebody's drugging you. Yeah, it is a reason. Yeah. And then that's, and that's what raised my eyebrows. Like, like what's the reason why she, right. she, she want me so asleep? So what are you going to do? I'm gone, Steve. <clears throat> I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone, babe. Could it be possible, of all your actions, and, and you tell me if I'm wrong or right on this, the shovel in the door, the booby trapping, the, the constant questioning if she's cheating. Could you have been so crazy that she said, I need a moment of peace, I'm gonna slip this guy in Ambien or whatever she slipped you. It doesn't make it right, though. It doesn't make it right. It don't make it right. Is, is that why you did it? You know I'm not gonna answer the question. I don't have anything to slip him, except him. And he would taste it. Not in juice, you won't. You know, you make me try the not juice. In, you always juice make you me drink the juice. You know I'm diabetic. Why are you crying? Because I do love him, and it. Guilt, Steve. Sign of guilt. Sign of guilt. That's, 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 that's a sign of guilt. Leave. I'm done. That's a sign I'm of done. Guilt, Steve. She's done. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you, sir. Good luck. Appreciate that. Nice to meet you. Appreciate it. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's gonna watch this and say, you know what, she was brave enough to do that, I can do that too.